Hey everyone, it is me once again, and I am here in oh, the new base. Oh, it's so nice to have a pretty new base like this. However, I want to change it already, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, the changes I'm making, I'm moving these items down here to the bus room, I guess that's what we're going to call it. Why not go ahead and get our Finchies out? There's our Finchies. Hello, Finchie Winchies. Okay, and we're also going to <laughs> recraft. Uh, I want to take this out, this top room out, and move it to the bottom. I think it just makes so much more sense down below. We'll leave this chandelier up here. Watch this. Perfect. I want my room in this palace to be a little bit bigger than the other rooms. I thought... That sounds fair, considering the fact that I'm the one who built all of this, you know? And I'm also the one who does all the work around here, so... I think I should get whatever kind of accommodations I like. And in this case... Let's see... Right here... The accommodation that I want is simple. A pretty candle, where I want my candle. And I guess I'm going to make some gray brick wall, or see if we have some, which is probably the best idea. Let's see if we have some more. Nope. Uh, that's not it. Blocks plus wood. Snow brick wall. I don't see any gray brick wall. Oh, here it is. That's it? What? 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 Okay, whatever, fine. I'll go over here and make some favorite wall. Okay, that should do. Now it's our spawn once again. There we go. Uh, this looks nice. Um, although I think I need to change one thing that's bothering me. We're going to make a little bit of a... Ah! Just like that, we're going to put the tungsten chandelier on top of it. That looks gorgeous. Well, I think we're winning today on that. We're going to put our I have a tool trophy right here, and the bunny fish trophy up here. I think this looks nice. Uh, we'll probably add more to this as the time goes on, but for now, this is this is good. This is amazing. Um, I guess we ought to see what kind of quest the Angler has for us, if any, but I imagine I probably already exhausted that for today. And I'm going to tell you guys what the point of this video is, which you've probably already seen in the description or the title, but I'm going to make you wait anyways. Where is my furniture or chest? It's going to take me some time to get used to the new way of doing things, y'all, so please be patient with me. We'll explore this new normal together. I'm sure y'all have gotten... Y'all haven't gotten tired at all of hearing that. We're gonna put this gnome. So we, already, we already have this armor statue out here. So we're gonna put the gnome out here. Mm 
feels good. Alright, so let's go check. I thought so. Alright, back here. So, the task that I am going to be doing is moving the glowing mushroom biome. It is absolutely useless to have a pylon in this area right here. It is just absolutely pointless. Um, I do love my, glow my glowing mushroom biome, but I just do not need one over here. So what we're gonna do... We're going to do our best to make this, or to move this biome from here to another area. And I was thinking, somewhere in this little ravine down here, or maybe this entire area right here would be really good for going mushroom biome. What do you guys think? I think that entire area being going mushroom would make a lot of sense. And there'll still be surface over here. But there'll be some glowing mushroom right here, and we can make this water a bit more, uh... We can put more water here, is what I'm saying. And then we'd have even more fishing areas. And that would just do for the good of our, of our people, huh? And we'd also would have a quick warp over to this area, which we haven't had in a while, and we'd be able to get close to the left ocean. It would expand our empire. I think that's a really valuable thing. So, um... That's what I have planned for today. At least for right now. I'm trying to look at everywhere else, because the only other biome that we have to get... Well, we have the Universal Pylon, and we also have the Hallow Pylon, which we can't plan where the Hallow is going to be yet. In fact, we won't even know until actual hard mode begins. Ah, oh, This lovely music. But yeah, these guys don't need to be a part of a glowing mushroom biome. That's not... it's not necessary. So, um, I think it would serve us much better to have the, the glowing mushroom biome elsewhere. Let's see if we have any glowing mushroom seeds. Well, we have some. That's good. Now let's see about blocks. We're going to need mud blocks for this. Thankfully, I found an easy way to make my blocks. Literally, just just watch this, y'all. Where's the closest? Okay. I'm also going to be reshaping these uh, these mountains and valleys and hills and all that because they need to be reshaped if we're going to be in this world for a long time. Look at this. I need at least 200 mushroom blocks. Oh, that room looks so nice. I think I definitely made the right decision giving myself a nice large room on top of here that's the size of two of the regular rooms. Actually a little bit extra without this middle area thing right here. Uh, anyways, we're going to try to chop down the entire glowing mushroom biome over here and replace it with dirt blocks. Uh, this is to keep all of the mushroom stuff from growing up any further than it already has. We might get some glowing mushroom seeds doing this, which would be really, really useful to us right now. Alright. And of course we're going to have to take down the pylon, but I'm not worried about it. We will be using those soon enough. I could too back there. Yeah, 
Anyways, this is the first step. Also, I can't harm critters right now because I have the critter harming, uh, the, the friendship critter item thing in my inventory. It's going to stay there, I think, because I just really don't like to hurt. I don't really like to hurt the poor little innocent bunnies. They didn't do anything to me. Ooh, there's some seeds. Anyways, it'll take time to foster the new mushroom biome that I'm going to be building. So it won't happen right away, but I can at least get an area set out that I want to spread to. And using mud blocks is going to be very easy to, to control the spread. Now it's true, I could- oh wow. I could leave this area as glowing mushroom and not worry about it. But the thing is, I just feel like that would be weird. I, I don't want to do that. So we're going to be replacing all of this. from this too, which is going to be useful. But yes, yeah, say goodbye to the glorious mushroom biome that we've all come to know and love. It was my first surface glowing mushroom biome, but you know what? We can do even better. We can make a bigger one, a better one. I think we can definitely do that. mud blocks down there, but I think we can handle that. Just as long as the majority of them are gone. I don't think I've ever used this many dirt blocks before. To set aside a house for the truffle. That's right, y'all heard me. Or maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should wait until after I've already got the biomes and the hard mode stuff finished because you never know what could happen in hard mode, y'all. Decision I have to make soon. But as for now, uh, I think this ravine, or well, I don't think it's really a ravine. This area is shaping up nicely. Whoops. Mushrooms are the only thing I have to use to make quite a few of these items. It's actually really cool. Ooh, restoration potion. Healing potion. I can make lesser healing. Oh, regular healing potions. That's right. Okay. And regular mana potions. Shine potion. That makes sense. Alright, so what about mushroom blocks? Can I make mushroom blocks? Or 
Sure. If I'm not mistaken, I think I can just place them like blocks. Yes, I can. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out at that point. All right, so we're gonna wait until morning. It's just about morning anyways, but we're gonna wait until morning to go do the thing in this area of the map over here because it's going to take time uh, otherwise of fending off zombie attacks, which is just annoying, honestly. It's just annoying and I don't like doing it. There, I said it. Okay, let's... Blueberries, I saw a yellow mark gold over here. This area will come to grow grass once again, and I'm sure it will be a wonderful area with plenty of trees and stuff like that, so don't worry about that, y'all. We definitely don't need a glowing mushroom. You know, these pylons are already too close together. I really want to move the desert pylon out to the middle here somewhere. Or over on the side here. I want to equal out this desert a little bit more. Just completely make it nice and smooth. I don't like all the hills in this world, I'll be honest. Okay, let's see what the angler's got for us. Surface Tundra. Time to go to the Love Shack. <sighs> it's been a little while since I've done this. Not too long. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm uploading the episode 27 right now, and I'm recording episode 29. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job. This off. You don't ever take the cobalt shield off because, oh my gosh, I don't know what I would do without the cobalt shield at this point. Okay. This and master bait. And we'll just go from there. Uh, that was not what was supposed to happen. Oh my gosh, okay. At this point, it would be good to get either the last... There's two uh, anger items that I want to get. And they are the... What's it called? The weather the weather guy thingy? The weather radio? And... Let's see. Neither of those. <laughs> the weather guide or the tackle box. Those are the two things that I want. Those two items are going to give us what we need to continue on in this world. Uh, let's do this back. Um, also, I found out that I can combine uh, some items. Like the the obsidian skull can be combined with the cobalt shield, which I need to do anyways for a future project. So I was kind of surprised to learn that. Um, so that means I didn't really... I mean, I have to keep the horseshoe right now because I have to negate my fall damage. So I've got that. I can combine my my balloon thing with this bottle. And that way I can double jump and I can have the same double jump capacity as I did before and still have my mana flower. So let's see if I still have that in my in my equipables, which I should. Here it is. Oh, there he is. I was like, where the heck did the guy go? Crafting. So I'm gonna ask him what I can do with this. Yeah, I can make a tsunami and a I can make a shark rom balloon. And it has both the functionalities. I just need to go to the Tinkerer's workshop. And thankfully it uses this tsunami in a bottle, which I already have. So let's go. And there we go. 
I was actually, um, I was death for Halloween this year. I, I don't know if I mentioned that I dressed up for Halloween, but I was the Grim Reaper for Halloween this year. It was fun. Now one last thing before we go into the, uh, the, the jungle-y, surface-y area. Oh, it's a slime rain. We're gonna keep on going down. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can get some glowing mushroom seeds from the glowing mushroom biome down here. Because as we, as you guys may remember from earlier playthrough episodes, there's a big one right here. survey in this area. Yes, come to me. Gel a little bit. Now let's go survey our chosen area. This is a nice little area right here. First thing we're gonna do. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Any more slimes want to get it? 
throw slimes. Get it. Okay, anyways. I think this looks a little bit nicer. Like this. And y'all know I'm an aesthetic person, so I'm gonna make sure things are absolutely aesthetic around here. Oh, don't even try. Don't even try, slime. Oh my gosh! Just wiping the floor is fine. Oh wow, okay. Where is he? a ravine I guess but that's what I'm calling it and so that's what it's going to be because I say so and it's my world oh wow I completely destroyed the water stream that wasn't what I meant to do oh well you live and you learn so uh, let's start out by replacing yeah that's gonna be mud right there surface layer is what I'm trying to get right now. Let's go a little bit further with that. And get all the way into this area here. How far can we go? Can, can I get some help here, Finchy? Thank you. I have a Terraria servant now. <laughs> Thank you. 
We don't do that here. Anyways, back to my blocks. Spread. All right, so we're first going to do some basic injection points right here, 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 and here. spraying like wildfire. Look at that. In here. Alright, so that's part of our project complete. Let's go let it spread. While it spreads, we can attend to inventory management. Which I know is something y'all probably hate hearing me say at this point. Because, oh my gosh, there's always so much of it. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Stack everything, I think. Let me look real quick. I think most of this can stack, yeah. Okay. Let's first get out bacon, because I can see some items that are supposed to go inside of bacon. Like this, this right here. This is supposed to be inside of bacon. Um... 
these can be sold, I think. Let me see if I have any in my vanity. Hopefully I'm right near my vanity stuff. Oh. Do I not have part of the slime? I, I guess I sold it, okay. I'm gonna put the ninja hood in here because I think it's cool. Uh, crate potion, all right. Okay, let's, let's go here. Quick stack. Sell, sell, put away. These are guys. Sell. This can really be put away until we need it. So let's just put it in furniture because we're not gonna be able to use it for a while. At least we already have it. <clears throat> Dirt blocks. I'm probably gonna need a ton more of those, but I'm gonna wait for the for the mushroom biome to spread naturally first, and so we can get some more seeds. Because until we can do that, there's really nothing that we can do to promote the spread of the mushrooms. Okay, um, let's go make some dyes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of fallen stars. Turn your head and cough. Mm -hmm. And give me some plastic surgery. Okay, whatever. Not really. I don't advocate for plastic surgery. Alright. Now, warp speed. Back to the forest. Quick stack. We're gonna sell the other items. That's Okunis, of course. Opanis, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Thank you! Really, the two gold that I got from that wasn't even really worth it in my opinion, which is crazy now. I'm in the position in this game that I can say that. It's really cool. Because before, I was not in that kind of position. Is that yellow dye even doing anything? I don't think it is. I had that in there for whenever I had that little star clip. But it's not doing anything for my re my reaper hood, so I'm gonna put it away. I saw my mermaid tail on. That's adorable. Okay. Um, let's see. What are we gonna do? We've got two more hours until daytime. Huh. Let's see, what other plans can we have for now? So we've got uh, our little glowing mushroom settlement going here. Oh, it's just, look at that. Look how much of that grass is already spread. I bet it's already a biome by now. Let's go check. It does not take long for it to spread, y'all. You know, these jungle people need an actual house. What's become of my beautiful world? <gasps> yeah. It's not quite regarded as a golden mushroom biome yet. Still really pretty though, and oh, there it is. All right, so we already have enough for us. We can say we're going mushroom biome or a surface mushroom biome, as they call it. So we're gonna extend that. This is gonna be the whole mushroom area. It's gonna take up an entire screen. Oh, that's cool. Scrapping the enemies around here, and I love it. We're gonna extend it all the way up to here. 
We're just gonna go all the way through here. Um, all the way up through here, I want to have going mushroom by it. All over here. All the way up to right here where this cavern ends. I want this area to be surrounded by glowing mushrooms. I think that would look gorgeous. I think it's going to be amazing. I think it would be a wonderful way to make this world even better. Because I really am invested in this Terraria world now, and it's not going anywhere. So, that's how I want to improve it. Alright. Well, the first order of businesses I have here is to get annoying blocks out of the way, and shape this area so it's easily walked. Needs to be easily walkable. Thank you, thank you. down if we want to. I think it's really important. Ah, gorgeous. This is looking amazing so far. But it will get better once we have more seeds. button glow. Oh, because I was low on health. Oh, okay. My keyboard got really red and the H was flashing and it was telling me drink potions, drink potions and I was like, why don't you drink potions? Why would I need to do that? And that was why. <laughs> Anyways, let's go see what we've got from the angler. Hey, Sammy! Underground and caverns. It's so cool how I can warp across this world in a matter of seconds now. People who originally played 1.3 are just rejoicing at all this. Alright, let's start fishing. Oh, I'm out of bait. That makes sense. Okay. It'd be nice to get some better bait from the angler. Well, she give you some master bait. That'd be nice. Excuse me. Crates. 
not what I'm looking for at the moment. Rockfish. That's not it. Okay. Another crate. This is taking a while. Oh, there it is. Scooter fish. Interesting. Hey. Hey, there you are. Uh, a sea planter? That's it. Uh, well, I guess I'll put that in the Earth Guardian. Oh, oh. Silver. Okay. Don't complain too much. Let's quick stack. And let's put the planter in the herb garden. Yay! Ah. That's a really big planter. Decorative item? Ooh, fire blossom. Hey, look, seeds. Do I have to replant these or will they replant on their own? I don't know how any of that works. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't just destroy my fire blossom farm. That would suck. I think more research into herb farms and stuff like that. I have so many things on my to-do lists, y'all. These trees aren't going anywhere. They're being mined up. Failures! All of them. Okay. Let's put our stuff back on before I forget and have fall damage because of it. That would suck. I would feel so like I squandered my privilege if I did that. I had the privilege of a horseshoe. And I squandered it. That's what I feel like. Um Yeah, I guess we're gonna sell all these. Unless I need the falcon blade for something. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Can I use this for anything? I can't. Okay, time to sell. Uh, wait, no, not, not yet. <laughs> it's already 48 minutes? That's insane. Hi, you know you're having fun playing the game is when it doesn't feel like it's been that long that you've been playing the game. Um, I literally need one more item for my cell phone, and I'm just, like, really upset that the angler hasn't given it to me yet. I'm like, oh my gosh, you better give it to me. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Hey. Ethereum Dark Mages? Well, I don't know who that is, but I guess there are enemies. Huh. Actually, I think this rockfish might be useful. I think we're gonna keep it. Put his wall skeleton back. Okay, I think I'm done here. Yeah, I think we're gonna replace my uh, this hammer power. We're gonna replace my hammer. This is 25% hammer power. This has 70% fast speed, very slow speed. Yes, we are definitely replacing that. I don't care how much damage it has. I care about how much, how well it works. 
for building purposes. Thank you. I know there's quite a bit of, um, there, there's quite a bit of, uh, door opening whenever I walk in and out of these doors. That's one thing that's kind of annoying about this space. There are other things I don't like about it as well, but I do like just, oh my gosh. The item layout is so beautiful compared to the other one. Let's see what we've got here. So the glowing mushroom is pretty much completely taken over here. We can go try to farm these in a little while and see what happens. Because I just want to get all the way up to here and let's see what time it is. 318. We can still place down, place down some mud blocks if we get some mud blocks out. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we have a ton of mud. Yeah, let's do that. We probably didn't even need to make any. I probably just wasted some dirt blocks doing that. Not like they're like a... You know, um, an entity that I have to preserve or anything. Dirt blocks are a time a dozen. Although technically I guess they're a non-renewable resource. They're so, so plentiful. I just don't think it matters. For someone to run out of dirt blocks in a world, I just... I can't imagine that being a thing. So many pumpkins. down the groundwork. That's what we're gonna do. If I'm not mistaken, I think that the golden mushrooms will spread on their own. I'm not sure if that's the case, but I think they may. accessible to all terrarians is also the fact that it gets accessible to most things. So I'm not seeing any spread yet. There we go. Looks, you know, those are a critter, I believe. seeds. I'm happy to help it spread a little bit more. But honestly what we need to be focused on is getting this mud down so we can spread it in the first oh wow. Okay. Opportunity here to make this pool even bigger by uh, making this 
this dirt area taller all the way up to here and making this just a big pool of mushrooms. I feel like really, really cool. Anyways, we're going to start a mushroom biome up here as well. That's going to take some time though. I'm still trying to replace all these dirt and mud blocks, so it's going to take a while. Okay, let's get let's get working. We got lots of work to do, y'all. Oh, there's some biome spread right there. Okay, so we are seeing spread from the mushroom biome. That's really good to see. I'm already starting to get a little bit sick of all of these enemies. I can't believe how fast mud blocks go whenever we are facing whole uh, portions of the world with spin. What's this? Fungi bowl. Give me some seeds. Give me seeds. Give me seeds. Nope. Wow. Whatever. Oh, there's some spread right there. I see it. It's starting. Oh my gosh, I can't wait! Up and up we go. Now we'll start by removing the trees yet, yet again. I'm 
that make this area up here easier to traverse? Because the bottom area will be fine for walking. Uh, this area up here is more for decoration and style, I think. At least when it comes to the project I'm doing right now. This is more for style than anything else. So let's get some wood out of this whole deal. Yeah, I can see it spreading already. So much gel. Okay, now we've got to do the difficult task of replacing all of this. the outside. I don't think we have to do the insides. I don't know if a difference. Yeah. Maybe I'll be kicking myself later for not doing the entire thing. I'll just do the entire thing. I don't want to kick myself later. I 
they're not even here. They're just gonna leave. I want them to just, I want them to just leave. Can they just leave? I've got better things to do than find Goblin Army. They don't even give me really good drops or anything, I'll be honest, y'all. Like, the first time I fought them, I was like, yay, I got some cool new stuff, but this time I'm just like, you know, I've fought them twice now. I'm just like, I'm not really interested in what they have to offer at this point. Oh, y'all even want to know how many blood moons happened whenever I was trying to remodel the face. I think it was three? Maybe, maybe, uh, two. But I know it was more than one. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, let's see. We're just gonna go through here, replace all the dirt with mud. This looks nice. And it's already been laid out for me too, so that's really convenient. And the devs did a really good job of making beautiful structures like this. So I want to preserve their structure, the world gen structure that was made, in a way that I want to make it my own. I'm gonna get out of this entire thing. Pretty! Okay, we've got two more little ravine things to do, and then we'll be done with the mushroom bio. The mic on the mushroom bio. Then we'll try to get another seed. We shall see and see what happens. This is already creeping up this area over here. We don't need to do anything about that. It will naturally grow in that area. But we've got a whole other area to worry about. This area up top it doesn't have any natural mushroom biome in it yet. So if you get mushroom grass seeds, they're automatically going to grow up there. Better go check the anger quest before it goes away. <laughs> oh no. Well, I should have done that.
They want to be like, you know, all badass and stuff. And I'm just sitting here scrapping. Place that door just because of y'all. Goodbye. 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 Nope. Goodbye. 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 Nope. Nope. No. 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 Relatively unharmed, that's a good thing. Oh my gosh. Every time. Every time. They're like, oh my gosh, let's go rob this place. And I'm like, That means I get to make a golden bunny! Where's my glass? Glass. There's no bunny in a cage? What's a bunny in a cage? It's a glass kill. Let's try the glass kill. Maybe I don't have enough glass. Let's talk to Jake about it. I think that's his name. Hey, guy whose name I don't know. Come here. What can I do with it? A terrarium. Okay. Make a terrarium. I need 16 glass. Okay, so I need more glass. That's all. because I don't want my inventory to be completely void of glass. Right now, my lovely pet bunny. I have gotten a pet bunny and it is mine. And his name is Horace. 
Horace, the beautiful pet bunny. And he is mine. And he will be my squishy. Okay. Quick stack. These go in here. Oh my gosh. Again, goblin army. Oh my gosh, I've totally forgotten the anger quest. I need to go there now. Like, right now. Oh my gosh. Desert. Okay, let's go ahead and put this all together once more. The fishing machine, as I like to call it. But I don't, I don't know why I said I like to call it that. I've only started calling that just now. Fishing potion. Let's do this. Oh, there it is. <gasps> tackle box! I got it! I mean, that wasn't the cell phone item, but it's still something. So we're gonna go here. I'm going to take these items out. Okay, take these items out. And we're going to make the Anchor Tackle Bag! Yay! Now we don't have to exchange two items whenever we do the whole item exchange on accessory. We only have to exchange one. That's going to be very useful. So, let's put the other item back. Now we can keep our fall damage preventative. And the other one in bacon, of course. So that almost finishes up everything that we need from the angler. The only thing that we need left is... We got journeyman's box. Oh, the only thing we need left... Go back to town. Let's leave the goblin in. Oh wait, you know what I noticed? I noticed that this is in here, and I don't know why. And we're taking it down, and we're putting it in its rightful home with the goblin tinkerer and the mechanic in the love shack. So let's put it up next to. Ooh. This would be a perfect place for a family portrait. That looks gorgeous. Yay! Improvements! Okay, now back. I'll lead you guys to it. Have fun. Oh, the lovely music. There's a reason why I use it for all of my uh, montages. Alright, so we're gonna sell all of these, I believe. No, not this. Not that. We don't do that. Not us. And we're gonna go back to the glowing mushroom and we're gonna see what we can do about that. Uh... Okay, back to the glowing mushroom biome. I'm trying to keep this, like, I'm trying to keep my inventory management short. I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more than just inventory management on these episodes, you know? I feel like y'all really deserve it. And thankfully now, inventory management can be short now that I'm not having to put things in the wrong boxes and all that kind of business. Go 
Rolling mushroom. Give me seeds. Give me seeds. Give me seeds. 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 Seed me up. Seed me. Seed me. Okay, well, I was not seeded. That's very sad. Um, but we are going to be able to plant some seed up here. So we're going to... Let's see, where should the injection point be? Um, let's try it right here. That will allow big mushrooms to grow. So we're just going to let that consume the land, basically. And it might take a while. I mean, this, this took quite a while. A lot longer than I thought it was going to. to let it spread naturally. And I'm sure it will, and once it does, we'll probably have forgotten about it. We'll come back here and it'll just be a gigantic mushroom biome, and I'm going to be like, oh my god, it's so cool. So, you know, look forward to that. Let's warp again. What, what are you doing in here? What are you doing? And what? Gold? gold? What? No, you do not go in here. You go in your shop. You have a whole- I built you a whole ass shop. Get back in it. Is it not suitable? Suit- yes, reserved for the merchant. Go there. Do not talk to me. Do not. On my bed. Leave this room, peasant. Drum set. Interesting. A safe. That's a lot of money for a safe. I don't think I need that. Now, what I was planning on doing before he so rudely walked into my freaking house was making die. I was going to make dye. Because I'm awesome like that. Okay, now that I made the dye, we're going to go back. It's just such a far drive, I just can't do it. Wow, so many lenses. Okay, and like I said, I'm trying to keep the inventory management sections of these videos short. Let's see how many, let's see how long we've got until I've got anger quest. If I can wait for another one, I probably will. Let's see, 12 a.m. Hmm. Oh, we're already at an hour and 23 minutes. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that tonight. Spawn points where it's supposed to be. I think we're done with the mud blocks. I'm fairly certain anyways. We still had a tiny bit more to go. Yeah, down here on the bottoms of these. We still had a tiny bit more to go. Um, so why don't I finish that up real quick? It's not going to take me long to finish that up. And then we can get off of the best show for the night. Episode 29. <laughs> Zombies used to be threats, now it's just more of like a minor annoyance. Very intense. 
intent on destroying me, and I don't know why. I'm like, I'm giving you all a home and a place. Like, I'm forming it from my own two hands. Ungrateful. You wanna be ungrateful like that? Go somewhere else. Go back to where you came from. I don't know where that is, but go there. Okay, so our planted, our, our little seed of mushroom is very slowly. Okay? It's not even spreading on the Come on, biome spread. This is the only time I'll ever encourage you. be a full going mushroom biome before long. I cannot wait. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. That was not what I meant to do. Okay, let's switch these out. We don't need the mud blocks anymore. Which I feel really happy about. I'm very proud. We don't need those mushroom blocks anymore. Give me seed. Give me seed. Well, it's already 4.06, well, it, you know, game time. It's already 4 a.m. in the game, so why don't we go ahead and just... Is that a gold thing? Where's the coffee? I was wondering what I killed to make a gold coin. But it turned out it was nothing. Spread, my darling, spread. Okay, let's go. We'll see how that mushroom biome is done soon. Thirty-nine fish. Surface forest. Which way am I supposed to go? To the left. Ironically, exactly where we were before. See, this would give us a much easier surface lake place to go to when we need to hunt things. That would be really useful. And we're just going to do the angler tackle bag like that. Oh my gosh. That was nice. We're starting to run low on fishing potions too. That's insane. Okay. Wow. Easy. this item. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna destroy him. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're gonna put this back. Oh, we just got some Master Bait. That's good. It feels so weird every time I say that. And if you don't know why, then you're too young to be watching these videos. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's quick stack our items. Yeah, we're about done here. It is late, late, late where I'm at. And I still have some things to do today, so yeah, we're gonna have to end it momentarily. Let's put the mud blocks back. Tin 
bar. We can sell that. And the high test fishing line. We already have it. We already have the item that works as this. I don't know why we need another one. You know why? Because we don't. We do not need another one. There, just take that. That way it's not sitting there in my inventory bothering me. I know it would disappear, but still, I'm just bothered by it. Don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me. Now, if I could get um, a cell phone, that would be nice. <laughs> Anyways, let's just, I'm just gonna peek. I don't think a mushroom likes to reproduce whenever I'm not there. Blink root, oh, how pretty. I didn't know that could grow on. Okay, well, we don't have any mushroom growing up here yet, but the point is, yet. And we've got a whole bunch of mushroom growing right here, and it's spreading further and further, and soon it'll be all the way over here. And we'll get some up here, and up here, and on these, these little three islands here. Traveling merchant. Oh my gosh. Where? Oh, he's on the jungle settlement. What's he doing over there? Okay, I guess let's go see what he's got. Free shipping? I don't need no free shipping. Well, nothing I need. Alright, y'all. I guess we're gonna end it over here this time instead of uh, anywhere else, which is not usual for him to get, so... Um, I want to say thank you all for watching, and I appreciate, uh, everyone watching this videos. I've gotten some comments recently, positive feedback, which is really nice. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!